Mike Bloomfield uh, may be the most complete artist of the pioneering blues rock guitarist. He was influential not only as a Strat player and a Les Paul player, but also as a Tele player. This 1966 Telecaster is one of two that Bloomfield had in the late 60s and early 70s. One remained blonde, and it was famously cut down and then made into a lefty later on. This Telecaster is the more obscure of the two, even though it was painted blue. So the story goes by the younger sister of one of Bloomfield's girlfriends. Bloomfield used it on stage. There are photos of him on stage with this guitar in 1973. But it's obscure because it's been lost since 1974. Uh, Bloomfield had booked a gig at the Cave Club in Vancouver, B.C., and before the gig was done, he disappeared. Of course, the club owner was furious, and uh, as compensation, Bloomfield told him to just keep the two guitars that he had left at the club. One was a 59 Sunburst Les Paul, and the other was this painted blue Telecaster. So soon after that, a cover band from the Bay Area called Butch Wax and the Glass Packs came in to play the cave, where they played quite often. Uh, and talking to the club owner, they discovered he was still hot about the Bloomfield incident, and he offered to sell them the guitars. Uh, what do you want for the telly? $125. So the bass player in Butch Wax, uh, Bruce Lopez, pulled out 125 in cash, handed it over, and took the Telecaster with him. The Les Paul, in a, within a week or two, was sold to a local musician, Chris Oakey, and it eventually changed hands a few times and then disappeared. The telly actually was never lost. It has been in Bruce's closet ever since as he became a golf pro in the Phoenix area and eventually, sadly, uh, died of COVID uh, just a few years ago. And at that time, his family brought it out of the closet. The bridge pickup on this guitar was rusted and it has been rewound to original specs but otherwise it's the way Bloomfield had it so now if you want the Bloomfield sound all you have to do is play this guitar and of course to be able to play like Mike Bloomfield 